Isn't that wonderful? Nobody loves us like Jesus does. Amen. Nobody. And that's wonderful. And he will never stop loving us. He'll never love us any less than he does now. That's great. Let's come to him in prayer. And as always, there's a time for you to press your pause button. If you've got something special you want to say to Jesus, even if you're a child and you want to say something to him about Christmas, an older person, you want to bring a special joy to him, just quietly between the two of you. Or you might have a heartache to bring. This might be a special anniversary that you want to talk to him about. Whatever. When it comes to time, you can press that pause button and just share your secret with Jesus. So let's pray. Oh, living Lord Jesus, thank you that nobody Nobody could love us like you do. And thank you for the love that you give us for you. We do love you. We worship you. And as we press that pause button now, we bring to you those special secrets on our hearts. And we continue in prayer, Lord Jesus, excited. Excited because we belong to you. <clears throat> excited because you belong to us. Excited because we are here in this building in Nambaka or watching at home on the web. We join together in fellowship because of who you are, yes. because you're the one that has joined us together. You are our living Lord. Yes, I am. And we're drawing close to the time when we celebrate. We celebrate so much the time that you left heaven and came to earth as a helpless baby for us. And as we draw near to that time, not far away, we ask that you would prepare our hearts. Give us thoughts that help us to be prepared to worship you for who you are. A great and mighty King who was prepared to leave glory, to come and live in a broken world with broken people. Lord, thank you. Thank you that you rose again after paying for our sins and thank you that you're here in this building, in our homes, wherever we are, and you're leading us in worship. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because nobody loves us like you do. Amen.